starving please mr streamer give us content frown well what do you what do you mean I, i'll give you as much as i can what do you mean how are we doing today three hello though hope you've been good let me give it youtube some time to file line in so i will swap over for me for now sup hello hello uh relax relax you guys are freaking the fuck out chill for like two seconds uh okay Hold on. Uh, let me run Anniversary steps. of watching my favorite Toricha main. Sneaky Squid thing of the 15 months. Bucky thing of the 14 months. Arison thing of the 3 months. Dry King on thing of the 10 months. Uh, Spadicum thing of the 18 months. Sleeps thing of the 17 months. Uh, Zero Ideas thing of the 5 months. Oscar thing of the 18 months. Cozy woman Johnny thing of the 5 hands, months. Woman holding hands, 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 woman holding hands. Woman holding hands. Snotty A thing of the seven months. Rojo thing of the four months. Crispy Buns thing of the two and three months. This uh, stream is Sigma, thing of the seven months. not Ohio. Uh, Myriad two things of the four months. Uh, oh, I saw a TikTok about that tonight. I finally know what that whole thing means. Uh, Squiddy thing of the three months. No one thing of the three. Uh, Blue thing of the ten months. Bible thing of the nine months. D2 Bunny thing of the five months. Good for God thing of the six months. Um, no one thing of the three. Omega Z, Mr. Z thing of the eleven months. Uh, Mr. Big thing of the three months, seven forty-seven thing of the three months. Appreciate all you think. Thank you. Uh, Damn, no. it's been that long already. Uh, yo, Gen X Wolfie thing of the thirty-four months. FNAF Wolfie thing of the Prime for thirty-one months. I appreciate it. Hello, thank you, thank you. Welcome on in. You guys are filing in. Gotta give YouTube a little Someone bit of time to file in now, themselves. although they're just starting to come in. Hello. Hmm. My girlfriend broke up with me when she found out I only oh. had nine toes. She well, was lactose really intolerant. People who ask for shirtless in chat are crazy. Dude, it's a Monday. You guys good? You guys good? What the fuck is this? Um, Hi, I streamer. You always stream when I'm at work and I'm happy to finally get to catch one. Oh, Smile. Fuck. Um catch all things in five months. Fire Blue things shirt, in five let's bits. go. Five hundred bits. Azor thing of the eighteen months. Stonks. Oh no, that's uh, that's getting skipped. There's no way we're letting that happen today. Smoke, um the real damage uh, can't the prime. wait to see the patch. Yeah, yeah, well I wanna give time for people to file one because the notification hits, gotta give them a few minutes. Because then otherwise it's just waves of people going waves. How long until I'm a sub veteran? Um, I think you're crossing in that territory at this point. I think two years is like the full full vet Did status. I hear but women holding hands. Year is pretty serious. Um, slash women holding hands. 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 Women so holding hands. So I saw a TikTok women last night, chat. Women <laughs> holding really hands. And I think women holding hands. We cr I think women you, holding hands. The code is cracked. Women holding cracked. hands. Women holding hands. Women holding hands. Women holding hands. Women holding hands. Women okay, holding all right. hands. All right, that's enough out of you. I'm sorry. Uh, I think the code has been cracked on the hyper gen alpha speak. Flaps got that nice fresh cut. You really underestimating me. Uh, th Y'all thanks for the uh, thanks for three, dude. Appreciate. It. Apparently, apparently, uh, what was what was it? Fuck. You should it go? know before a new season come out. The freaks come out. Don't be surprised. Apparently, according to this guy's TikTok, Skibbity is bad. Ohio is also bad. And then Riz is obviously charisma. So when someone says Skibbity, Ohio, Riz, it means you have no charisma or you have no ability to flirt. And I was fucking losing it because it was just a bunch of really old people like me in the comments being like, Really? That's what it means? <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, holy fuck, dude, I need out of here immediately. Thanks for the brain rot terminology. Yeah, anytime, dude. Mm. Not joking, you scroll up a little bit, someone said it. That's why I was like, okay. Um, 
Oh, that's funny. Uh, play Any trade. chance you go bald next year? I don't think so. Uh, yo, planetary guy, thank you for the 200 for six months in advance. It's I my birthday it. and the tax deadline. Happy last day of the season. Oh, fuck. Flash. Did they take the tax money on my account? Oh, God, I'm going to go check. Is the, is the U.S. government come knocking? Pause, everybody pause. It hasn't been taken yet. Okay. You inspired me to want to start streaming. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad advice? thing. Advice? Keep up Goes out today, work. though. I'm really feeling the heat. Oh, they haven't taken it yet. <laughs> they haven't taken it yet. Okay. Let me see. Uh, Liam Stanley, leave the two for 12 months. Appreciate it, Paxson, leave the six months. Dead Man, leave the prime. Zero Knight, leave this nine months. Don't worry, Zero Grandpa. Leave, uh... We know you don't under our slang. We understand her uh, from Stone Age, but we still love you. <laughs> Sorry, I think the 29 months. Uh, I appreciate all you. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Um. Oh. Okay, one last thing I gotta New do stream really, title. really quick. How to afford a TRX and avoid paying taxes. Shh, shh, shh. Hang on, one sec. I gotta... Is it uploaded yet? No, it's not. Okay. Happy Patriot's Day, Flats. Okay. Any desire to run Boston? No, absolutely not. <laughs> He's a five, dude. Um, Siderman six two one. I appreciate it. Okay, let's hit the corner. Let's go to the quiet corner. Uh, okay. Chat. You know what time it is. W content. <laughs> oh, Rush to Retail Passion. It's April 16th, 2024. Hey, that's my birthday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a busy ass day. Holy shit. I didn't even realize. Uh, I'm going to mute alerts for a little bit uh, so we can get through this. Because um, we got a lot of juice. We got a lot of juice to get through. Oh, Rush to Retail Passion. It's April 16th, 2024. Limited time mode clash trial. Clash's upcoming game mode in Overwatch 2. Teams must battle back and forth over five capture points and each captured objective adding a point to the prevailing team's score. Teams can, win can in two, teams can win in two ways, either by having control of all five objectives at once or by scoring five points total before the other team. Clash will be available as a limited time trial through April 29th. How Clash is played. Five total objectives placed in a linear pattern in a mirrored map. Only one objective is active at a time. Matches will start at the center objective active. Uh, players capture an objective by standing on it, filling the progress bar. Capture progress can be not be made it when, if the enemy team are contesting the objective. When a team captures the current objective, they are awarded one point to their total score, and a new objective moving forward from the scoring team side is activated. Objectives can be secured multiple times. If a team is pushed off of an objective and the other team successfully captured it, the next active point will be in the opposite direction. Okay, makes sense. Um, I don't, I'm not going to go too much more into that part. Uh, let's see. Actually, wait, this is actually important. A team has successfully captured five objectives throughout the match to reach a total score of five to win, or regardless of score, a team manages to take the final objective A or E on the opponent's side. Okay. Uh, Hanaoka, new map. Explore never before seen, never before seen corners of Hanamura on in the new map Hanaoka. Inspired by the visual themes of the beloved Assault map, explore the shops and restaurants around town and follow the scent of sakura trees into the once proud Shimada Castle. I'm I'm glad. I, blah, 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 blah. Well, I cannot speak for shit this morning. Mm. I'm glad they're bringing back Hanamura. 
Hanamura was always a beautiful map, even though 2CP sucked. Mythic Hero Skin updates. Mythic Hero Skins are unlocked in the new Mythic Shop in exchange for Mythic Prisms. Mythic Hero Skins are unlocked for 50 Mythic Prisms with a starting set of customizations and then can be leveled up with 10 Mythic Prisms per level. You can also unlock the skin and all available customizations for a Mythic Hero Skin for 80 Prisms. Uh, Mythic Prisms can be earned in the Premium Battle Pass and used in the Mythic Shop to purchase the current featured Mythic Hero Skin for the season and select previous Mythic Hero Skins. You can Oh, sorry, you can earn a total of 80 Mythic Prisms when you complete Premium Battle Pass. Okay. Earning Myth Mythic Prisms in the Premium Battle Pass is the easiest way to unlock a Mythic Hero skin and all customizations each season. You can also purchase additional Mythic Prisms in-game or on your platform store marketplace. Uh, challenges, completing weekly challenges milestone will now reward additional Battle Pass XP. Overwatch coins that were earned in the weekly challenges can now be earned in the Battle Pass for all players. So the free Battle pa Pass is going to have coins in it now instead of uh, having to do those weekly challenges, which is nice because the weekly challenges, one, I feel like everybody kind of forgot about them. Um, and two, if you're like me and you're a grinder, you can just blow through the whole free, the whole battle pass in like four days. And then you don't have to worry about like, did you get all your coins for the season? So nice change. Um, reduce the number of weekly challenges. Okay. Endorsement changes. Players who are actioned for disruptive behavior and reduced to endorsement level zero cannot use text or voice chat features until they return to endorsement level one. Wait, I thought this was like a future change, like a season 12 or beyond. Oh. This is going in next season? Okay. Ah, uh, finally. Oh, we're fucking so back, dude. We're actually so saved. Hide my name, AKA a real streamer mode. Updated option in streamer protect found in your social options. You are now able to hide your battle tag from other players in your group and from your friends in the match as well. When enabled, anywhere your battle tag is displayed to players during a match now displays a random anonymized battle tag instead of only to the player with hide my name settings visually enabled. Finally, a streamer mode. Oh my god. Hopefully the days of being hunted around by the incessant clip farmers and people being weird, on, especially on drop days, is over. My God, bless. Progression. Added progression sub badges slash sub badges for rewards for venture. Red rewards can be found in Hero Challenge. Okay. Lever penalties. Yeah, I'm still not a big fan of these. Uh, leaving two out of 20 games result in a five, five minute suspension for queuing most modes. 10 or more out of the 20 games result in a 48 hour percent suspension from queuing most modes. All other threshold tiers are unchanged. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this one. I think that's ridiculous, but whatever. Um, I don't know if I want to. Eh, fuck it, I'll read the reasoning. Overwatch is a competitive game, even for unranked game modes and the match experience. I just want. I just want to point out this though. Unranked is not what it's called. It's called quick play. If it was called unranked, that's different. That's not what it is. It's a quick play. They're not even the same rules. So to say Overwatch is a competitive game and then also say for the unranked mode is kind of a little bit disingenuous, in my opinion. Um, unranked is the card. Quick play is under. I understand that, but so is Mystery Heroes. And nobody would argue that Mystery Heroes is a competitive game mode unless it's in the competitive game, right? Like, no one, no one would think that. I just... It's like we we had unranked in that beta and we realized, oh, like it's a little bit too long. So we keep quick. So qu the whole idea of quick play should be able to be drop in and drop out. Like you it's the game. Like if even if it's under a tab, it's still what the game mode is called. Right. Like I feel like we're just I feel like that's bullshit. I don't I disagree. I don't care. I feel like it's bullshit. Uh, game modes. And the match experience for all remaining players is negatively affected when a player leaves before it is completed. Remember, a penalty only applies when you leave games and not when you complete games. By introducing a later five-minute penalty, we aim to discourage players from deliberately leaving games they don't want to play. 
I, I think that this is just a really bad idea. While not impacting those who have a technical issue or a urgent need to step away from the game, which they will solve by the time the queue suspension is finished. Ah, did, I, this is not it. This is really not it. This is a really bad. This is a really bad line of thinking, in my opinion. It, this is really fucking bad. Uh, the larger 48-hour suspension aims to target a very small uh, portion of players who are aggressively leaving games. That one's fine. I'm, I'm actually cool with that one. If you're leaving, if you're leaving 10 out of 20 games, like what are you doing? Um, leaving 10 games in competitive play will now result in the season ban, regardless of the number of games completed. This, I think, is going to probably cause some problems for people that pay, play, like, ridiculous amounts of games every season. Like, if you're, like, a 500 to 700 game a season player and you're, like, in college and you have bad internet, I have a feeling we're going to see some people get banned for that. Uh, and that's going to cause some controversy this season. Although, honestly, it's ranked, so, like, I'm not that mad about it. Uh, players can still get banned from competitive play as few as five games if they leave very consistently and don't complete enough games to get back into go good standing. That That makes sense. Um, let's see. Games completed in competitive play now count towards the 20 game window of unranked Libra penalty. Cool. Competitive updates, a competitive role specific titles, end of season titles for competitive role queue now include the role, uh, the role the rank was achieved in. Examples include champion tank, champion support, champion damage, and open queue champion. Um, Oh, 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 the, the titles, the titles. But the, the big thing is now it says individually. So it doesn't say like champion challenger or top 500 role challenger, right? Also, I feel like you should also get the champion and top 500 if you got both. I mean, like all 10 of them that got it this season, but yeah. Competitive progress. Uh, each role rank card now display the associated rank, sorry, competitive role specific title. That's cool. Um, role rank cards can now be selected to open the match his to open the match history for selected role. That's nice. Match history will display the following map slash game mode, heroes, role, date, score, results of the map. This is all good. Uh, match history can now be selected to open the game report for a match. All very good. All very good. This is a big one. <clears throat> grouping restrictions all previous competitive grouping restrictions have now been removed all com groups in competitive play are now c classified as narrow or wide players between bronze and diamond must be within five divisions of each other in their group to be a narrow group so basically if you are f playing with your friends everybody needs to be within five so the highest someone can be is like plat one and the lowest someone can be is gold one because like you know the top of plat top of gold right <clears throat> and then obviously the same thing happens upwards to, to 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 diamond but you can't have that gold person with the diamond person like what does that mean okay you know what fuck it let's let's break out the paint okay okay so here here you have the ladder okay here's the ladder champ GM, Masters, Diamond, Plat, Gold, Silver, Bronze, okay? In between this, everything on this ladder, okay, you can get one to five. When you get to one, you rank up. If you go below five, you rank down. There is five divisions though, that you can be in. So from, let's say if you're plat one, you can play with people in a group. Everyone in the group has to be between plat one and G1, or that's a really fucking shit G, gold one, or they have to be plat one Oh, that's that is atrocious. That one, two, D one. Makes sense. So basically, they have to be within this. Everybody in the stack has to be within this range <clears throat> to be a narrow group. Other than that, you are a wide group. Okay, so you're most likely going to be in a wide group. Uh, let's see. 
players at masters may be must be within three divisions of each player in their group to be a narrow group so instead of for here where it's five across it's only three so let's say if you have someone who's masters one they have do you have to have between masters one and masters four i should believe right actually does it count one as one of them or is it so would it be three or would it be four i think it would be four right Listen, man, I know I know the four because I've seen better days, okay? I think it's four. Would it be M1 to M3? M1, M2, M3. Yeah, you're right, actually. It would be three, I guess. Well. Within three. Wouldn't within three be four? Because, like, it wouldn't count your own? It would be M4. I think it is four. I think it is four. This is where it gets a little bit weird, but yeah. Um, you're probably like, the chances you having everyone in your master's group be this close in rank is gonna be tough. Anyways. Players at Grandmaster and Champion cannot be in narrow groups, regardless of how close their ranks are. These restrictions ensure that our highest ranked players have the highest quality narrow matches. This means uh, if you're GM plus, uh, Solo queue is probably going to be your meta. Narrow groups will always be matched against other narrow groups or solo players. If a group has both wide and narrow configurations of players, the narrow configuration will always be prioritized. Any group that does not meet the criteria is considered a wide group. Wide groups of four players may not queue. This restriction exists so that solo players are never required to be, make a wide match, which is great. Good, good job on that one. Uh, wide groups have increased queue times and increased match quality because it's more difficult to find another group of players with the same ranks in the same roles to match against. That makes sense. That makes sense. The amount of player's rank progress changes after each match is modified with by the group's width. The wider the group is, the less their rank will change when winning or losing. So basically, if you have a four stack of bronzes with a GM player. When you win a game, your bro your ranks are barely fucking moving. Like you probably, I, if I was gonna make an educated guess, I bet you get like 4% or 3% rank. So the cool thing about that is if you're a really, really high rank player and your friends suck, you can go queue with them. And when you whether you win or lose, I'm pretty close. Higher or lower? Higher or lower? Um, if you queue with your friends and they're fucking terrible, that's okay. Because even if you lose four games straight, it's like less than a normal ranked game that you lost. You know, that's pretty good. That's not too bad. Um, almost dead on to four. It's complicated. Okay, fair, fair. Uh, let me see. The higher the rank of the highest ranked player in a wide group, the less the ranks of all players in the group will change when winning or losing. Players will now be informed of this configuration of roles that they have selected would result in a wide group. Uh, that's cool if we know like before you even hit the button. The tier legend has been updated and a new banner has been added to explain the rules described above. Cool, nice, good information. Um, rank information, new modifier wide has been Added to the rank progress, also at the end screen. The modifier volatile has been re renamed to demotion. <laughs> Thank fucking God, dude. I got so sick of goddamn seeing this damn volatile bullshit. I was so fucking sick of it. Uh, arrows displayed under the modifiers have been changed to the point from left to right and right to left. Wait, arrow mo arrows displayed under the modifiers have been changed to point from left to right instead of right to left. Okay. New modifier, dem demotion protection. This modifier appears on the rank progress bar to denote when you did not go down in skill division because of a loss. If you lose the next match after you are drank, you are dropped down to the previous skill division. Okay, so small thing about this. I don't know if it's changed in this patch, uh, but the demotion protection is kind of smoke and mirrors bullshit. Um, because if you lose the next game, you still lose two games worth of rank. Like, 
there is no protection. Like, the only thing is, is, like, you just don't lose the rank you see on your screen. That's it. But, like, you did lose the points. They're gone. And, like, you are in the next rank already. They just haven't changed the front-facing screen. Um, we're working on trying to make it more clear with these changes. Oh, that's good. I'm, I'm glad. Um, but when you do lose your demotion game and you go down... How many points? It's, like, 40 or something like that. That fucking sucks. That that hurts. That 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 blows. Uh, victory and defeat have been added below the rank progress bar where modifiers are displayed. Golden weapons. Golden weapons can now be purchased with either legacy competitive points or 2024 competitive points. You cannot purchase weapons with a combination of both currencies. Okay. Uh, here updates. New hero, Venture. Venture has been added to the lineup. Venture is immediately available in competitive play. Holy fuck. This is a pretty major change from past heroes, but we always wanted to allow new heroes into competitive when a new season of Overwatch 2 launches. In the past, we wanted to make sure a new hero were free of any bugs or outstanding balance issues, as well as giving players enough time to unlock a hero from the battle pass. Because of the recent hero trial, we are confident Venture is ready to jump into the action right away. Damn. That's actually pretty cool. I can't wait for somebody to complain. There's gonna there's gonna be someone that kicks up a shit storm. like, oh my god, Venture's so broken. Oh, I can't believe they put her put them right into into, into competitive right away. I Love can't you, man. believe you're one of my favorite I, I, people someone, on YouTube. Someone's gonna fucking do it. Someone's nice. gonna fucking Blue do it. Heart. I can't freaking wait. Um, yo, they lose the super chat, dude, on the YouTube side. Uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Sorry, I forgot that I didn't turn off. Uh, alerts on, on the youtube side i appreciate it okay now let's get to the real juice shall we tanks doomfist rocket punch the empowered punch is no longer consumed when the windup is canceled by seismic slam or power block so basically if someone's like going for the punch and then they decide to cancel it with their e or for a block you still keep it don't know why that wasn't already like that but hey that's good Junker Queen, oh my goodness. Impact damage increased from 90 to 105 on Carnage. That's pretty big. But if you didn't see it, look at this. Reinhardt Earth Shatter. Knockdown duration increased from 2.75 to 3 seconds. And that's not all. The shockwave range increased from 20 to 25 meters. Well, that's called the three seconds well i mean there was only they could only go up to three it was at 2.75 um this is old rhine shatter and you know what even if they're on the ground for three seconds they still will stand up instantly with suzu <laughs> seriously no, this is actually a really good change, though. There's a reason. The reason why this number means a lot, and they've always been so scared of going back to this number, is three seconds is the sweet spot for three swings. Three swings. So before you would have time for maybe do like two swings and then like a fire strike if you if you hit it while they were standing up, but now you can do swing, 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 and be fine. Or you can do swing, swing, fire strike, and be fine. And you'll get them, like, right as they're standing up. So, that's a pretty significant shatter buff. Um, that's literally bringing it to old shatter. Will it be enough? I don't know. If it isn't, oh man, we're fucked. Okay. Sigma, experimental barrier. Movement speed increased from 6.5 to 20 meters per second. This change will improve Sigma's ability to protect allies that are farther away from him, so Sigma's shield will travel faster. Um, small, very small buff, so I got, I got nothing for it or against it. All right, oh Jesus. Wrecking Ball. Grappling Claw. The Claw. Hold the jump input while the Grappling Claw is attached to terrain to retract it, pulling yourself towards the anchor point. This action can be rebound in the hero setting. So, you can be a yo-yo. Yo-yo ball. 
Uh, now has a one second cooldown if Wrecking Ball never reaches ramming speed before canceling the ability. Interrupting him with hack, hinder, and stuns will s trigger a f the full cooldown. Okay. The maximum duration timer no longer triggers unless he reaches ramming speed. Wait, the maximum duration timer no longer triggers unless he reaches ramming speed. Wait, for on the grappling claw period? Wait, so if you're one of those really shitty ball players like me, um, who like goes to touch, like attach it, misses, so you do it a second time, think you missed again, but you didn't actually miss, you did connect, and then you let go trying to do it a third time, and went, oh shit, and then your thing goes on cooldown? It's only a one second cooldown now, instead of the full cooldown. But, okay. I know ball players. They are like the Doom players, where they find shit. I'm going to make an early prediction that they find a way to abuse the fuck out of this to where they can, like, literally traverse the entire map extremely quickly. I'm making a bet. They will find a way. Adaptive Shield can now be reactivated to redistribute up to 300 overhealth to nearby allies, capping at 75 per person. Enemy and ally detection radius increase from 10 to 13 meters. Minefield health increase from 50 to 60. Developer comments, the general goal here is to add a direct way for Wrecking Ball to support his allies, aside from purely enemy team disruption. Make the hero more approachable while also adding more avenues for skill expression and improve the quality of life around the grapple. Look, first, first off, this looks cool. I think this will be probably be a fun time. Uh, however, though, um, this also has the potential to be one of the most broken things. Like giving allies extra health is always really spooky in Overwatch. Um, give you examples: Rally for Brig. Junker Queen Shout. We had that Junker Queen meta way back in the betas and no laughter. Uh, all I can think of is like, yeah, really juiced up fucking, was it 250 health tracer? Uh, that could be kind of spooky. Uh, and there's another thing I kind of have to at least say here. Uh, I feel like I made a joke a few seasons ago how tank f is, feels like it's turning into support. Um, and I feel like changes like this are just like, they're getting a little too real now. But I think it'll be fun, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> Uh, damage, Sombra Virus, total damage over time decreased from 100 to 90. Uh, you know what, I don't know if this is going to be really, like, do a whole lot to Sombra, but, ah, fuck Sombra. Sombra's annoying, so. Good nerf, fucker. Tracer recall, ooh, what? Tracer recall cooldown increased from 12 to 13 seconds. Pulse Bomb also, base projectile size decreased from 0.2 to 0.1 meters. The total projectile size is now 0.25 meters. Ah, oh, poor Jay. Uh, this is now more downtime between, sorry, developer comments, there's now more downtime between Tracer can safely re-engage after diving her away, or sorry, driving her away, and Pulse Bomb will now require more precision. Damn, dude, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Uh, Tracer has been kind of dominating um, this last season, so I'm actually kind of okay with that. That's pretty good so far. Good, good so far. Um, Venture. Drill Dash. Uh, impact damage decreased from 60 to 40. Damage over time increased from 40 to 60. Same amount of damage, but adds a little bit of counterplay or ability to save um seems fine although i don't know we'll see I, it might be it, it might be an unnecessary change clobber impact damage decreased from 30 40 to 30 damage over time increased from 30 to 40 so they did the same thing here um to th uh the melee tectonic shock vertical knockback decreased by 30 percent uh, we are redistributing the damage on some of their abilities so that positioning relative to the enemy and tracking a target are more important for dealing maximum damage. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Um, 
I'm not really sure that was needed, but then again, we only had like a small trial and it was like a quick play trial. So like, this is probably fine. Um, and I will give them credit uh, that typically if a patch isn't doing too hot or what they wanted for a new hero or for something like that in the beginning of a season isn't working out, they are pretty quick in that first week to make adjustments. Um, so if this is something that maybe over nerfed venture um to the point where it's like yeah maybe you know they're not that good i'm sure they will make some changes so uh, i'm pretty confident this is this is fine support ilari solar rifle uh primary fire increased from 0.2 to 0.25 seconds that's not necessary and secondary fire per heal uh heal per second increased from 105 to 115 i think the, the heal was fine um you mostly use it on tanks anyways, uh, but I don't really know if Hilari needed a recovery nerf, if I'm honest. I'm not sure about that one, Chief. Um, Love your content also, isn't this like the third Lucio nerf in a row? First off, we haven't even got there. Second off... Wait... Okay, hold on. Let's let's talk about this one. Lucio, damage pro projectile decreased from 20 to 18. That's a pretty substantial nerf. And sound wave, damage increased from 35 to 45. Okay, listen to me. And listen to me well. I like Lucio. I like Lucio a lot. I think the game is best when Lucio is meta. I think that typically it enables less boring, more fun. Things like Zen or Brig are slow and I'm not a huge fan. I like Lucio, but man, he's boop, like giga overtuned at this point. Like, listen, the one season of super boop, hey, that's fine. It was, fu it was fun for a bit. I can't help for can't forget that clip of Emong on King's Row ulting from one side of the point, trying to go forward and getting booped completely 90 degrees off the map. You know, and it's the lockout that's so infuriating because it's so long to respond. It's okay. Give you an example. If you're on Gibraltar first point on low ground at the end of first, and you're standing like where the cart is, and you try to fly up to blue box on D.Va and a Lucio boops you down, you cannot make it. Like if you start to fly up and he boops you down, you run out of boosters before you hit the top of blue box. That's a lot. That is a lot. So I don't know why we're nerfing Lucio's damage and then buffing boop damage. Like ah, boop's already really good. You know, I don't, I don't, I think this is a little bit of a heavy handed Lucio nerf, but also, they're trying to give like a compensating buff. It's like, stop, stop with the, stop with the bop, the boop. Anyways, let's continue. Oh, Jesus Christ, what is this? Life Weaver Rejuvenating Dash. Heal increase from 50 to 60. Tree of Life Pulse Healing increase from 75 to 90. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Isn't this, didn't they make it 90 at one point? It was really fucking annoying a couple seasons ago. Because, I mean, it's literally Brig Rally, but better. Giga Tree. Oh, man. Not saying Le Weaver didn't need anything, uh, but also he's like a very heal first character. Um, and. With a super heal first character like that, when they're trying to have something like the DPS passive where you take away healing, I feel like it kind of, you know, it's like a little tough to deal with. Um, but yeah. Moira, uh, Biotic Grasp. Damage per second decreased from 60 to 60, or sorry, 65 to 60. I know Frito's out there jumping up and down. Coalescence self heal per second increase from 55, 50 to 55. Um. 
okay i guess make make her a little bit harder to kill um during call but eh, I, I guess it's fine wait that's it um any big bugs hero mastery oh jump pads can be deactivated i've had that happen uh, fix an issue on the payload. We'll tries launching players unexpectedly. Aw, the Circuit Royale rollouts are gone. Uh, fix an area near second point where the payload dock could negatively impact Earth Shatter and Tectonic Shock abilities to hit larger heroes. Okay. Prevent a death from being counted if Echo falls off the map. Okay. All right. So, thoughts on the patch? Um, it's really not much. Uh. You know, I wonder if they're pretty confident that the game feels balanced to them right now. Um, but if I'm quite honest, I'm a little bit disappointed to not see anything about, like, Arissa. Um, Arissa's kind of dominating again. And, I mean, like, if you've watched any OWCS in the last week, you just see Arissa everywhere. Uh, and I'm really getting sick of every season being the flavor of the month tank that just giga uh stand there and don't die aka malga aka arissa aka sigma and I, I like sigma don't get me wrong i'm just sick of like having only three options this season um and they give some good buffs here to like queen and ryan and we did have the queen meta we did have that little queen meta at the beginning of the season and that little ball meta at the beginning of the season which was nice um but where now that everyone's kind of realizing how to play with the new DPS passive and whatnot, it's like kind of gone back to where it was. Uh, but honestly, the tank experience is even worse now than ever. Uh, and you know what? You know what's bad when like I talk to Emong about it, and like he's not even—he can't even pretend like he's having a good time to me. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I've never heard you complain about anything in my whole fucking life. <laughs> you know? And it's like, man, dude, it hurts. It is not fun. Um, and I don't really want to be a six v sixer. I really don't. I don't want to be that guy. Uh, but like, genuinely, it's getting fucking terrible. It's it's getting to the point where it's like, I don't I don't know if. I don't know how much longer we can all sit here and go, oh shit, this is acceptable, you know? And there's good buffs in here, like the Carnage buff to make Queen a little bit better, the Earth Shatter buff to make Ryan a little bit better, but the problem is, like, you'll probably never even get to Shatter. <laughs> you're, prob you're probably just fucking dead. Um, so, uh, it's nice to see new tools, but you're literally just not going to get there, you know? Like, it, you, you, you just won't it's gonna take you a long time to still charge it up and you're gonna split like the mid fight you're gonna suck in the mid fight is what i'm basically trying to tell you um so i don't hate this patch but i'm a little disappointed and i thought it would be more so anyways though ryan buffs let's hope for the best for next season on that and uh i'll definitely play and give it a shot but yeah we'll see so there is your season 10 Overwatch 2 patch notes coming out tomorrow. Cool. Hmm. Will you check the season 10 skins of Calvary Twitter? Did Calvary tweet them all out? Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. One sec. <sighs> oh yeah roadhog roadhog 2 people people play roadhog 2 just stand there and try not to die um okay cool there's also a big ass blog too put him in mod chat Okay.
Okay, this is way better because I was going to do something a little risky. This is this is good. Thank God. Okay, I, I can I can close the thing I was going to do. <laughs> okay. Um, there's also a dead blog. Okay, we'll look at the dead blog after. Okay. I just want to make sure I can start getting ready to hand this off to people. Okay, so Cavalry tweeted this out. Check out all the new skins in Overwatch 2 Season 10. I'm going to mute this just in case there's DMCA music. First one up looks like the Honest. I said mute. The Ana skin. Arch Commandant Amari Ana. Fallen Knight Reinhardt. Yo, listen. When I, when I looked at all these... Um, Dude, you guys gave me shit saying like, oh, how, how how do you think the Ryan one's not good? Like, it's one of the best skins. And I'm like, dude, are you guys fucking nuts? Ryan has awesome skins. Like, this one's, it's fine. It's good. But like, this is not S tier, top tier. You guys are crazy if you think this is a top tier. It's good. Like, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta realize, put them in different categories. There's such thing as good and top tier, right? Like, we're talking like a good steak from a nice place versus like Japanese Wagyu, you know? Like, it ain't gonna compare, you know? Like, you, you don't have this one too often. It's not it's not like an all the time type of thing, but this one's damn good and you want it. You want it more. You know, like you can have both in a way. You know, it can be good, it's just not top tier. That's, that's fine. Anyways. Talon Tracer. This one's okay. It's not bad, not, it's, it's good. Talon Zarya. Didn't see that one coming. I actually like this one. A little, a little bit basic, but I like it. Hashimoto Hanzo. Hello, okay one. It's pretty good. Hashimoto Kiriko. Wow, wait a minute. This one's actually crazy good. I like this one a lot. Her hair, like the hair and makeup style looks fucking good this actually the longer i look at this one the more i like it actually this one hits ah, they killed it on this one wait is that is she has tattoos shut the fuck up okay the tattoo i'm not gonna lie the tattoos are kind of fucking sick switch to 4k what do you mean i have the i have it turned all the way up Did it bug? Oh. Night Ops Sojourn. I really forgot to turn off YouTube once, didn't I? Opinion on making or each a spirit work like Sigma Eat so you can still hook slash pin. Also doom what? block work like Genji deflect so you can't sleep but can rock. What? Did you... What did you just type? Thinking Arisa Spirit eat work like Sigma eat. You know it does, right? They they literally do. It eats incoming project. Okay. Overwatch theme music is this. Okay, I don't care. I'm not. I ain't risking it. I got DMCA'd watching OWCS yesterday. Ain't happening. Retro Future Echo. Uh, not a big fan of this one. It's okay, though. Oh, I didn't even notice the ears. Hang on. The ears are cool. Okay, I got a few extra points for the ears. <clears throat> Probably the best Arista skin yet. This is awesome. This is cool. <laughs> Hello, Ruben. That's a good one. Zen... Zen Destroyer Zenyatta. Wow, you're really just leaning into the whole Zen destroying people, huh? Strike Commander Doomfist. Okay, not gonna lie, they kind of cooked on this one. They kind of cooked. This is a... That is a great Doomfist skin. That is actually such a good Doomfist skin. I don't know what it is about this one, but it makes me feel nostalgic. Does it make you feel nostalgic? Because, like, you know, looking at, like, original Overwatch Heroes 2016 vibes, it makes me feel very nostalgic. I don't know why. Junker Symmetra. Okay, they kind of killed it on this one. They kind of killed it. 
Longhorn Cassidy. What in the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Dang, oh, I didn't, I didn't get to really see the front that well. This is like... This is like farmhand ca Cassidy. <laughs> Ironically, it's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. I'm just laughing because it's funny. And also, god damn, where did he get these? My guy been hitting the gym. Good lord. That guy could crush a couple watermelons in there. Junker Genji. Uh, I'm normally not a big fan of the whole Junker idea. Uh, not my favorite thing. This one's okay, though. Not my favorite, but it's okay. Oh, this is so good. This is actually so good. They actually fucking cooked on some of these. It just makes me feel so nostalgic, you know? They, they just feel so nostalgic, you know what I mean? Like, it just, it, it feels like we're looking at Overwatch back in the day. Scorpion Baptiste. Wait. Wait, is this a Battle Pass skin? Oh, finally, Baptiste got a Battle Pass skin. Because so people, you know, stop talking about Bap not getting Battle Pass skins. And it's low-key... Okay. It's alright. It's alright. It's pretty good. And actually, I like the gun. The gun looks really cool. Uh, the color scheme's kind of boring. But the head, the headpiece area kind of looks cool. Uh, and the gun looks sick. So, I'd say it's pretty good. I mean, honestly, the, the gun is what matters the most. It's what you see anyways. Oh, he's got a little tail. Never mind. Uh, yeah, a few extra points. What did you do to my girl? What have you done? What did you do? What did you do? No, I'm not. I, I, I'm not. I'm not feeling this one too much. I'm not feeling this one too much. I'm not a huge fan. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. My goodness, they cooked. Captain Lacrox. Oh, this is probably the best Widow skin. This is probably my new favorite. And then Vengeance, Vengeance Mercy, the new mythic. Damn, dude. Okay, got to be careful because Twitter is a spooky place to look at stuff. Um, okay, so really quick. These are the Battle Pass skins. These ones are shop skins. Uh, is there anything we didn't see? Oh, we didn't see this Torb one. Oh, and this Venture one as well. I wonder if there's more in, in the other tweets. Hang on, let me keep looking. Oh, Season 10 Mythic Shop. Season 10 Mythic Shop. And, and nothing against whoever made this graphic, but you chose the worst Junker Queen combination. And I th Kind of the worst Sigma one. And the worst Genji one. And the... Okay, um, I, 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 guys, we have, we have very different tastes. That's all I'll say. Uh... <laughs> uh Another one of Mercy. And I love how all the replies are just mother, mother be mothering. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, let's see, another one. She has a DBZ scouter. Wait, you're right, she does. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, the mask the mask goes kinda hard. If the the wings actually do this in Valk, I feel like a lot of Mercy players are gonna be really, really happy. Alright, checking the last one just to make sure. Oh. What the hell? Oh, this is like a four minute long one. Hang on. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Alright. This is all the combinations. Hairstyle, red. 
or sorry, hairstyle one, hairstyle two. Mask one blue. I'm not gonna lie, I like that one a little bit. Mask one purple. Mask one red. Wait, hang on, wait a minute. So wait a minute, hang on. Hair is one customization, mask is another one. Okay, so two customizations so far. Not counting like variations within that one. Because in the colors, okay, we'll, we'll count the colors. So three for colors. Mask two, red. Mask three. Wait, so two hair, three masks. How many colors? Three colors? Three colors? Wait, it's three hair? Three hair, three colors, three masks? Oh, staffs, one staff? What? And blaster, so 12? 13 for another staff? 14 for another pistol? Fifteen? I should know that's another that's a color. That's a color scheme. Sorry. So fourteen combinations so far? It's only two hairstyles? Oh, okay, so then it's thirteen. I I read chat and I believed it. Two hairstyles, three weapon, three mask, three colors. Damn, dude. Dude, they ate good. Eleven potential combinations. Sorry, eleven potential options. So how many combinations would that be? I mean, we're, we're watching all of them right now, but I haven't been counting. Oh, that one's cool. I like the I like the color scheme on the blaster on that one. Coping over cosmetics. How are we coping? How is coping? We're literally looking at the combinations, not coping. What? I feel like sometimes you fuckers just want to say something just to say something. You know? Do you even know what the word coping means? Never mind. Not worth my time. I don't like that one. That one is kind of ugly. <laughs> Sorry. I, I hate to say it. I like that one. I like the red one, too. That one's pretty good. I don't know why, but that one feels like it's going to ask for the manager. To me. Oh, I like that one. That one's really fucking good. That one's alright. That one's pretty... Okay. I don't like it as much as the other one. That one's okay. Skull Mask does go hard, though. I like that one. That one looks good. I'm a big fan of the purple. Purple makes me feel like Moira to me. I like that one. That one's really good. That one's also really good. Isn't it kind of underwhelming for a mythic skin? 11 combinate or 11 potential options? No, that's probably the, that, uh, that other than Sigma might be the most. That's definitely not. Eleven different options is probably it, it's either that, the most or the second most. The only other one that I think has more is Sigma, and I don't even know if Sigma does have more. I like that one. That one looks good. The purple has too much brown. That might be it. That might be it. Wow, that was a lot of combinations, though. Holy fuck. Chat, any mathematicians in chat that can say how many combinations that was? Any mathematicians? Thirty-six? Is that true? Wow, 
That's actually a, that's actually a, that's probably the most, right? The only one I think that has more is Sigma. And I don't even know if Sigma does have more. Chad, do you guys know how many Sigma has off the top of your head? <clears throat> okay. Um, let me see. Uh, oh yeah, if you wanna... Um, also, by the way, chat, really quick, if you see Retro pop in, it's his birthday today, so say happy birthday to him. Um, okay. Cool. One more tweet in mod chat. Oh, from Hoshi? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. There's no way. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so good. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. Pretty good. They, they, they did pretty good this season with uh, the cosmetics and skins and stuff like that. Another, Honestly, another pretty good season. They kind of knocked it out of the park again. So, okay. Let me close out all these bajillion tabs I've got now. Cool. <clears throat> not bad. Not bad. Also, if you guys have been subbing, donoing, all that kind of stuff, I do appreciate it. I have alerts off. Um,. Because we're just trying to get through all this stuff quickly. Uh, and TTS would slow us down and it makes it a little bit tough for the YouTube side. Um, so yeah, appreciate you guys though. I hope you know that. Okay. Drill into the competition in Overwatch 2 Season 10. As we dig into Season 10 of Overwatch 2, we're thrilled to introduce our newest hero venture. We also have a first look at our new game mode, Clash, and updates to how you require new heroes. So get ready to embark on an epic excavation of greatness. You can't spell adventure without venture. Break ground with the newest damage hero, Venture, a spirited archeologist who channels their passion for history into daring acts of heroism. Armed with a massive drill and an arsenal of seismic abilities, Venture brings a fresh dynamic to the battlefield and underneath it. Outwit your adversaries and unearth victory as you dive, dig, drill, and deliver massive damage in the process. <clears throat> Harnessing... <clears throat> Jesus Christ, what the fuck was that? Hmm. Hmm. Harnessing the power of their smart excavator, Venture's primary launches unstable seismic energy that explodes and deals burst damage. Uh, with the burrow ability, they can become vulnerable and underground <clears throat> while gathering momentum for a calculated ambush upon reemergence. Then use drill dash to dash forward to make some space as you knock opponents back. When you're ready to tol or totally obliterate anyone who's foolish enough to come in into your path, Venture can unleash a massive shockwave with their tectonic shock ultimate. Whether you're traversing a con or traversing a covered uh, subterranean path or bursting out to engage in close quarters combat, Venture offers versatile gameplay that will wreak havoc on your adversaries. Okay, so small thing. Um, I hope they made the change uh, that you can still use your ult while in grav. Uh, because I had a time where I got grabbed, like not on a wall or anything. I was on the ground. I got grabbed on the ground, like a normal grab. 
and I couldn't fire my ult. And I was already in the ult, and so I just lost my ult because I couldn't do anything. That was fucking stupid. Um, I understand if you're up on a wall or something, sure. Like, you know, hey, fuck it. Um, but, yeah, I hope that they made that change. If not, then, whoops. That's going to suck. Dig into the battle with Venture and all Overwatch heroes right away. We want every player to be able to experience all the excitement that each hero has to offer. So starting with Venture, all past, present, and future heroes will be unlocked immediately for everyone who has completed their new player experience. Also, since Venture got some fantastic field experience from their hero trial, we've made some adjustments to their kit, and we're thrilled to share that we'll be releasing Venture into competitive play, or sorry, in competitive right away when Season 10 begins tomorrow. This is massive. I don't think they've ever done this before. A new hero just straight into comp. That is kind of cool. This is a pretty major change from past heroes, but we've always wanted to allow new heroes into competitive when a new season for Overwatch 2 launches. In the past, we wanted to make sure new heroes were free of any bugs or outstanding balance issues, as well as giving players enough time to unlock a hero in the battle pass. Because of the recent hero trial, and now unlocking all heroes, we're confident Venture is ready to jump into the action right away, so venture forth and break some ground, all of it. I think that's pretty cool. Allegiance's change in Mirror Watch. Discover a world turned over in the reversed reality adventure Mirror Watch, a limited time event set in a mirror universe where the virtuous have be crumbled into villainy and the wicked emerge as heroes. Swap alignments and experiment with reimagined heroes and abilities like Strike Commander Doomfist, Power Block Shield, Vengeance Mercy's Soul Burn Detonation, and Agent Colomar Sombra's Antivirus Ultimate. Antivirus Ultimate? That sounds actually kind of cool. Uh, twist reality further. Taking the fight into the redesigned Watchpoint Gibraltar, where Talon has taken over. Uh, explore this unique mirror universe for a limited time from April 23rd to May 13th. This is such a cool graphic. Like, I feel like this is like a wallpaper worthy graphic right here. Maybe it's just me, but this is, this is some top tier shit. Earn new ways to, oh sorry, new ways to earn and unlock rewards. Uh, in response to your feedback, we're embarking on a journey to make it easier to earn rewards and give you more control over your Overwatch 2 experience. To that end, coins are coming out of weekly challenges and going into the battle pass, making them easier to earn as you play. But that's not all. We're pumping up the number of coins you earn per season, with up to 600 Overwatch coins now available through the battle pass. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm guessing the paid battle pass doesn't have extra coins. Uh, it's just 600 for free or premium. Um, probably that's my guess. However, though, <clears throat> yeah, that's up from 540. Yep, it's an increase, which is good. Uh, but also, uh, you also had to come in every week to do the challenges, like your weekly challenges. No, it's like 60 coins. Who cares? Okay, let me finish my fucking sentence for a goddamn second then. Because... Before, you had to come in every week and get your actual challenges done, and not everyone does that. So you weren't actually getting 540. So you're not, your entire time playing Overwatch, myself included, we're probably not getting 540 because you didn't play Overwatch every week or every day. Um, so now you can play for less time. You can play for like two weeks, complete the free battle pass, get all your coins, and you now get one more coins than you were getting before. And two, you're going to actually get the full amount. So instead of having to come in Overwatch every week and do all your challenges, if you decide to take the last two or three weeks of the season off, which granted most of us do, you still get all your coins, which is a giant W. And if you don't think so, you're not thinking because you weren't getting 540 coins. I promise you, because I wasn't either. So this is a really good change and you should... Point that out instead of being like, oh my god, it's not enough. How many coins would you want, man? Like, you want you want a thousand so you can just buy the paddle pass for free every season? Like, ah, come on, dude. Let's be realistic. Okay. I swear, listen, I don't want to be that fucking guy. LMAO cranky. No, it's not, it's not about being fucking cranky. It's about people not being like, 
any of like appreciative of anything everyone you always have something to bitch about like it no matter how good it is or how much people try to make things better you still fucking bitch about it like you're looking at a good a good thing a actual good thing a genuine improvement and going oh like it's it's not enough i don't like it no you're just being a bitch dude like that's that's why i'm annoyed it's not cranky it's fucking annoying because like fuck man like <laughs> Yeah, you should want more. You should, you should, the, the, the way you get things to, and to, to happen is you say, thank you, or I like this change. More changes like this. This is good. That's how we get improvements. That's how we get things better. You know? Fuck, man. And I, I hate that anytime I get annoyed with people saying stuff, it's like, oh my God, so cranky. So, no, it's not. It's not cranky. It's just, I read the stupidest shit all day long and it's like, stop, dude. You know, like, fuck, man. Anyways, uh, choose your mythic path. In season 10, we're introducing mythic prisms, which allow you to pick the mythic hero skin of your choice. Uh, the best way to collect mythic prisms is by upgrading to the premium battle pass. The mythic prisms you can collect can be used to unlock and, and upgrade mythic heroes skins and upgrade them with unlockable customizations. Once you conquer the premium battle pass, you'll have 80 prisms, which is enough to fully unlock one completed mythic skin, making this the best way to make mythic pris prisms every season. Even better is if you don't actually want to unlock the entire thing, and if you only like part of a, of, of, of a mythic for the season, um, guess what? If you're getting 80 and it only costs 50 to unlock it, that means you bank 30 for the next season, and then the pr next season, when you go again, and you get another 80, you can actually unlock two mythics again. Because you'll have another 30, plus your 30 of the incoming season, upgrade another one, or buy another one, and then you'll have an extra 60 left over, and so you can buy a second one. That's fucking cool. So, <clears throat> anyways, uh, this season, our newest mythic hero skin is none other than Vengeance Mercy. Taking up the name Vengeance, Dr. Angela Ziegler leads Talon in a fight for a better world, where she wields full control over life and death. Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> mythic Vengeance Mercy uh, will have three new color combinations and masks available, as well as two hair options and Kinkata staff variations to unlock. This is probably the most amount of... Uh, combinations other than maybe Sigma. Sigma is the only one I think might have that many, if not more. Um, so yeah, kind of cool. <clears throat> not a Mercy main? <laughs> Who wrote this? Who the fuck wrote this? Not a Mercy main? No fraud a problem. You can also choose to spend your Mythic Prisms to pick up select previous Mythic Hero skins uh, like Mythic Cyber Demon Genji, Amaterasu Kiriko, and Gal Galactic Emperor Sigma. Or you can save them from new mythic cosmetics that may reappear in the shop in the future. Oh? Wait. What does this mean? Because we already got to confirm that it's like, what, two seasons past? Right? So, like, I think it's up to Hanzo? So, like, next season, Arisa will be in? Oh, I know everybody's going to be jumping up and down like, Oh, I want to buy the Arisa one! Um... Stay tuned for a deeper dive in the Mythic Prisms Unlocked progression and more when Season 10 officially launches tomorrow. That's cool. Uh, blur the lines between good and evil in the Battle Pass. Evil is good and heroes have fallen. Earn over 80 tiers of rewards when you pick up the Mirror Watch themed Season 10 Premium Battle Pass. That's cool. Um, collect new legendary skins including Agent Kalmar Sombra, Junker Symmetra, Strike Commander Doomfist, um, Talon Brig, Captain Lacrox Widowmaker and more. Uh, step further into the Mirror Universe with the Ultimate Battle Pass Bundle, which is stacked with 2,000 Overwatch coins, 20 tier skips, and the Fallen Knight Reinhardt and Arch Commander Amari Legendary skins. Oh, I feel like people are not going to be happy about those being in there. Um, okay. Lacrox, Pepe laugh. Listen, dude. I, dude, you think you think I know how to read French? Hey, come on. Wait, is Retro in here? Wait, did I see Retro? Jack, can we all spam hat of Feels Birthday Man for Retro? It's Retro's birthday today. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday to Retro. Happy birthday to you. All right, get the fucking work, dude. Um. <coughs> okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny because oh man i tried to get yeah i talked to him yes i was like yeah i'm not gonna stream tomorrow take the day off dude don't worry about it and then boom this all dropped so get fucked i guess uh clash for the win prepare for the adrenaline pumping clash game mode a limited time trial to start season 10. this ultimate tug of war challenge challenges teams to capture points along a linear path with five capture points strategically placed on a mirror map teams can deftly maneuver to capture and defend points to clinch victory dynamic spawns and stream streamline map routes expedite your return to the fight maximizing time spent in the heat of battle you'll think the thousand bits i appreciate it much love man i sorry i got alerts turned off <laughs> um the Clash Trial will allow you to explore Hanaoka, a brand new map spanning an area within the beloved Hanamura district, offering fresh battlegrounds to conquer with a similar feel. Don't miss out on the Clash Trial now available in the arcade from April 16th to April 29th. I'm actually excited to play this. Uh, can't wait. Hang on. We're going to make a prediction. In before, everybody hates this game mode and talks about how good Flashpoint is because that's what happened with Push. And a lot of people are like, oh, Push is good. What do you mean? You know, <laughs> after over time, you're like, ah, oh, push is fine. Push is, push is good. And now everybody hates Flashpoint. So in before everybody hates the new game mode and everyone says Flashpoint's fine. Uh, wreck and roll with hero updates. Wrecking Ball is rolling into the scene with a few new upgrades to his kit. Wrecking Ball can now protect his teammates as you dive into the enemy lines and use adaptive shield, providing the option to transfer some of the additional shield health to nearby allies. Oh, yeah, this is going to be insane i'm telling you uh grappling claw gets a new upgrade for greater control as you swing uh now you can press primary fire while the claw is attached to the map terrain and retract and retract wrecking ball for additional mobility i thought it was space i thought it was jump is it jump or is it primary I don't know. I, I guess we'll find out tomorrow. Lastly, grappling cause cooldown has been adjusted to be partially refunded if you don't reach peak fire, or sorry, don't reach fireball speeds. Primary fire is jump. What? 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 What, what did I read? Um. Sounds good, retro. Uh, we also have a variety of other balance changes coming this season. Sombra and Tracer have been powerful picks since we introduced their core gameplay updates last season. So we're toning down their kits. Sombra's virus has been given less damage dealt over time to help compensate with the initial burst damage, and Tracer's pulse bomb will now be more difficult to land on targets to level the field a bit when playing against her. Going into the season, many of our tanks will receive small buffs to give heroes like Reinhardt more impact with abilities like Earth Shatter. Finally, we're shifting the power between damage and healing for some of our support heroes, including Moira and Alari, along with providing some buffs to Lifeweaver to better tune his kit. Check out these changes in our patch notes. Okay, we already went over this. Updates to competitive and more. Oh my god, that's a lot. Hang on. Um, oh, it's the last section, so I'll just power through it first. Uh, we've got some major updates for competitive play. First up, you can now unlock any golden weapon with your 2024 competitive points. Note that you can spend the balance of your legacy competitive points with your 2024 points when redeeming any gold weapon variant, though. You can spend the balance of your legacy competitive points with your 2024 points when redeeming... Why not? I don't, I don't see the reason for that. So if, like, you have, like... Let's say you have, like, 2,500 legacy points, you're basically just cooked, you know? Um... You can't combine them, but why can't you combine them for gold guns, though? You know what I mean? Like, that means that makes legacy points, like, kind of useless, you know? Technical issues, unfortunately? Fuck. I, uh, yeah, I feel like people are gonna get it, you know? Yeah, I'm 500 left. Yeah, it's just like, yeah. I mean, if it's technical issues, like, that's that's a tough thing to deal with, obviously. Um, Still, though, I, I think people are gonna be kind of sad. I, oh, you have 2,900 legacy? Oh, you're fucked, dude, that's tough. Uh, we're making it easier for friends to play together in competitive by removing grouping restrictions. Uh, groups that have widely varied skill levels will be placed in a wide group. These wide groups will only ever play against other wide groups, meaning your matches may get a little sillier. 
taking longer to queue, and you will receive less gains and losses to your rank after games. Solo players will never encounter wide groups, as you can only make a wide group with up to three people. Defense Matrix is getting an update uh, with new... way. hang on, what? Solo players will never encounter wide groups, as you can only make a wide group of up to three people. So, hang on. If I, if I got some people here. Is Duo Q considered wide group? In GM Plus, yes. So if you Duo Q in GM Plus, are you considered a wide group? That's what I'm asking. Duo in GM Plus is a wide group, yes. I feel like you guys just created a new meta where nobody's going to want to duo Q. Everyone's going to solo Q. I feel like you just created a, a, a really, really, really bad meta on that one. Um, <clears throat> GM Duo is getting 4% for a win. Have fun playing 1,000 games a season. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, no shit. That is uh, kind of boring. I'm not gonna lie that's gonna be kind of boring because like now you have to basically make a decision on what do you care more about playing with friends or rank and it's like damn dude that's that's tough no more car key duo yeah but that's the thing though is i don't give a fuck about rank like as long as like i'm just still like chilling and and and, and playing in like high rank games i'm fine um i'd rather play with friends the rank percentage you gain for a win is based on actual width so if you're close in rank you'll still get progress yeah but like if you're duo q because you're a wide group you play get placed against other wide groups which means you'd probably be going against five stacks right <clears throat> so if you're a duo q you might get into five stack games and just get shit on but i also understand why they did that um because there's probably not going to be that many five stacks in high rank uh which means that you're going to be playing against two and three stacks. So I'm hoping that that will balance it out. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like that might create a whole new meta for like how people want to play the game, which is a little bit unfortunate, but at the same time, I understand it. So it, it is what it is. We're still thinking about a lot of how GM Plus groups work out as well. It's a really tough problem to solve. Oh, I, I can imagine. Because, like, I, I actually understand, like, having the two and threes play against five stacks. Because, um, like, that way the queue times don't get ridiculous. <clears throat> but at the same time, though, uh, if you're only if you're considered a wide group, that means you don't also get solo games, like, where you play against, like, solo queue players. Uh, so you're, like, only going to play against people that are two or three stacks. Or... Um, full stacks right so like because solo queue players narrow groups can't go against wide groups so if you're playing duo queue uh you will only get games versus other duos and trios or five stacks right like you won't play against any solo queue players at all right so the normal solo queue experience won't happen um like you can't get a duo queue on your team yeah that's that's what yeah you said that's good yeah that's that's not good um that's not good because if anything that's probably going to make you one longer queue times by quite a bit um two a duo queue doesn't typically throw off the balance of the game that heavily it really doesn't um most people in gm duo queue that at least i'd bump into there's a lot of duo queue, so a lot of solo queue people too obviously but uh I feel like we've always had it for years that duo queue is like kind of like the same thing as solo, just playing with one person. Like it doesn't really affect it that much. Um, if like if if it was really a bad thing, then why not make it tighter, right? Like, you know, how like right now, if you were GM one and GM five or GM four, you can still queue together. Just make it so that you have to both be like within one rank or two ranks, you know, uh, and then it would put you as a narrow group again because yeah that's 
that basically, at least in my opinion, will make people decide what do they care more about. Uh, playing with friends or uh, their rank. And I think people are going to be like, oh, I have a better chance of winning in a solo queue game. Do you think it would be useful to you if it was one or two ranks for narrow groups in GM? Uh, yeah, I mean, like, I wonder if you could make it so it was, like, only duo queue. Um, I mean, I guess you could maybe push it to trio two if, it, like, you made it really strict, like, within two ranks or one rank. Um, but even then, like, I feel like, hmm. I wonder if there's a, a sweet spot. Is there a sweet spot that could be made where if you're within two ranks of your duo or trio, you are both considered a narrow and a wide group. So you could play against duos and trios or five stacks, but also play against solo queue. That way the queues are a little bit faster and you're not punished for playing together. Um, but at the same time, you also still fill those um, wide group games. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. Not sure technically feasible that is, but it's an interesting idea. Yeah, I, I'm sure there's some crazy technicalities behind that. Um, I would be annoyed if I randomly got into a wide group. Well, you're not randomly. You're you're. If you do OQ and GM right now, in this patch or in this thing, you are going to be in a wide group. So you you will probably play against five stacks, two stacks, or three stacks. Like you will. You 100. Um, at least with what I'm telling, what I'm proposing, is that if you're at least within close ranks, um, then it would put you in both. Like you could be either one, like it's a 50 50 shot, right? Where you could also get solo queue, like the narrow group games or the wide group games, if that makes sense. So, um, I'm going to refresh. Okay. I mean, these are friends play together, group research, uh, wide groups, very skilled. I mean, a wide group, these wide groups will only ever play against wide groups, meaning your matches will be a little silly. Okay, we read that already. Uh, Defense Matrix is getting an update with new lever penalties, updates for unranked competitive modes, finally stream protect is included, server side features. To hide your name from teammates and opponents in your game instead of covering your name in your own game client. Learn more about grouping restrictions, disruptive play mitigation, and other future updates in developer update and Defense Matrix blog. Fair competitive play is a priority for our team, and we will continue to upgrade our Defense Matrix to mitigate disruptive play. Start your venture and join the comp competition with this exciting new chapter in Overwatch 2. Log on tomorrow and unearth greatness in Season 10 firsthand. See you, or, see you on or underneath the Battlefield Heroes. That's pretty cool. Um, basically, wide groups of 2, 3, and 5 are committed, but not 4. Yeah, yeah. We read that earlier. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Um, what you're saying, Flats, is how it works. No, it's not. I'm, I literally have... I know you're on the YouTube side, but there's literally devs in my Twitch chat that are saying like no that's not how that works so um you're, you're wrong what, I, what i'm saying is a proposed change uh so basically if you do a q and gm um or trio q you will always be in a wide group i'm proposing that if it's within a certain group like a, a tight range uh because it would do two things one it would keep the people from there are some mid maxers right like there are people that uh that are like gm1 that queue with like really low accounts, right? Like they'll queue with like a GM4 account on an alt account, right? Like it's a GM player, GM1 player and a GM1 player. The other GM1 player hops on a GM4 account and then they play with the GM1 player to get an easier game, but they're really also on a higher level. And so that way, like they're kind of not like boosting them, but like they get easier games, right? What I'm proposing is that if you made it tighter, right? Like if you made the grouping or structure tighter, um, for narrow that way you could get both you could get the narrow groups or the wide groups that way i would assume that would improve queue times um because if there's a lot of solo queue people on you could probably get into solo queue games really quickly but if there's a lot of groups on you can get in those group games really quickly right um but yeah apparently there's probably going to be technical limitations and whatnot with that but Anyways, cool. So, is that all of the juice? Did we get did we get through all the juice today? Can we install a mythic existing mythics for prisms? No, I don't. I don't see why that would. No, probably not. Uh, that would be kind of wild. Okay. 
Um, can we play now? No, absolutely not. What do you want me to do? You want to play on the last day of the season? The fuck? Are you, do you think I'm crazy? You think I'm crazy? Mm. Um, I think we got it all. So, cool. Okay. I'll unmute alerts. You guys are free now. Uh, I gotta do something really quick. Cool. The Overwatch team might think that you can't spell adventure without venture, but here on Flat's channel we know the truth. You can't spell adventure without an ad at the start. <laughs> Yo, Assassin <laughs> Assassin Tim, thank you for the 20 gifties. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Hey, much love, dude. I appreciate that. Chav, you get some make sure you say thank you. Save from ads. Save from ads. What the fuck? Let me guess, no Rhine buffs. Uh, you're wrong. There was actually two Rhine buffs, so. Anyways. Someone needs to fill this saddle. Double kill. Thanks for the wonderful content. Thank you. Appreciate the 12 months. Uh, tomorrow's going to be a, a, a very interesting day. There's a lot of stuff happening tomorrow. Uh, so, hopefully you guys will, will be here. We'll all have a good time. We'll enjoy it. <sighs> Wait. What, what do you mean by last day of the season? Do players really throw on the last eight. day? Oh, yeah. Everyone's on alt accounts. Thanks for Everyone's all camping. Streams. Whatever everyone's, they've been, everyone's got their life tents has been set up. rough, and your streams have been a bright spot in a dark time. So thanks, Flats. Yo, thanks so much for the four months. I appreciate it. Everyone's got their tents set up. Everyone's set up for the season. Uh, nobody's moving. Nobody's playing a fucking game. Nobody's gonna move. Everyone's everyone's camped up, ready to go. So that means if people want to play the game, they play on alt accounts. And so when you play on alt accounts, you know, you don't really care as much. And then you get someone else who doesn't care as much. And somebody gets an ego one game. And you're like, yeah, fuck you. And they're like, ah, who the fuck do you think you're talking to, you fucking bitch? I'll just throw this game right now. I'm not afraid. And they're like, yeah, do it. And then there's that one guy who's actually playing on their main. And they're like, what the fuck, guys? Please stop. And then just, it's over. Um, yeah. Were you shocked at no Orisa changes? Yeah, I already, I already gave my thoughts on the actual patch notes itself. I'm a little bit disappointed with them. Uh, a little bit. I mean, the Rhine changes are nice. The See Queen that? changes are nice. I'll bring the um, s'mores for the camping we are doing eat. Thanks, Torvitz, but uh, I am, I'm getting really tired of every season being like the flavor of the month. Uh, stand there and don't die damage mitigation tank. Uh, so I, I feel like Orisa is still going to be really strong. Like the patch didn't really do anything to change that. Pretty annoying. Yeah, Shadow will be better. But reward was Ryan is so bad at the neutral. Credits, but we can't combine currency to get gold guns. Yeah, they. Sage. It was a de one of the devs was in chat and I was saying it was a technical limit limitation. But yeah, I agree. I think in 15 months. Um, I'm kind of upset about tier 80 not being a mythic skin. Why? You know you're getting prisms now in the battle pass to just buy whatever one you want. Thanks, Flats, for making content. I love watching while doing college work. Oh, thanks for four months. Appreciate it. Um, what else? When's the update release? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. More I wonder if there's gonna be drops. That. I hope there's drops tomorrow. There's Dude, if there's drops tomorrow, we're gonna be farming. Gotcha. Uh, Chef, thank you for five months. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you. K Flat's been in the hospital since Thursday. Holy shit. I've been watching your YouTube channels. Thanks for helping me pass the time. In five months. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, I hope you get better, dude. Um. What else? I think. I think I missed. What is this? Eight months of no ads killed my streak on accident. Time to build it again. Love your flats. 
What? What the hell? What the fuck is this? It might go with a specific skin. Oh Just my hit some goodness. Buggies. Now to cry in ranked. Holy fuck, dude. That's fucking wild. That is wild. That with the Hanzo one, the um the Hanzo Cupid skin is gonna go so hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. Um Yeah. Anyways, uh, detox fire thing in five months. What uh, did Hanzo do to deserve that? Months in advance. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, come here. Thank you. Really 22 months. Me. What's up, dude? Um, Skull King thing with 16 months. Appreciate it as well. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what else? What was I think? What was? I don't know if there's anything else. Um, okay. What do we do today? That's the question. Do we go variety? Do we just play Howdy. quick play games? Do we um what should what's the play here today? I don't know what we should do. Comp? No, absolutely, absolutely not. Absolutely not. That I don't even think Elon's on today. Yeah, I think he, licking Elon's not even playing go. end of season comp. That guy plays comp no matter what. Jesus fuck, dude! What are you? Can you guys slam the door harder, man? Fuck, dude! Did you guys hear it? Thanks for the content. Literally shook my freaking floor, dude. Like you guys, like it's not that serious. No, you didn't hear it. Oh, well, that's good. At least you didn't hear it this time. 16 months, almost a year. Uh, okay. Also, my vote is variety less than three. Yeah, I think variety might be a good idea. I think that might be the play. That might be the play. Okay. All right. Variety time it is. All right, chat, listen. If you're on the YouTube side, I appreciate you for hanging. Thanks for spending your time. I hope you enjoyed being here for this uh, patch notes breakdown and whatnot. Uh, all of it's going to get uploaded to, in videos and whatnot soon. Uh, I don't know if Retro... I don't think Retro's working on anything today. I think Retro's taking Flats, the day off. Flats, if we you have... could create a skin for an out character, who would it be for and what would it be? I don't know. I Honestly, I'm not creative. Um, thank you for the five months, though. And pretending to give you the 16 months. Awesomest girl you know. Thank you for the four months as well. So basically... So how does it work? When I finish a battle pass, do I get the mythic skin and the prisms, or no. only the prisms? You only get the prisms. So you get enough prisms to buy the skin if you want to buy that skin, or you can buy a previous one if you want. Um, play the game how you play with my fucking nuts, dude. Anyways, um, yeah, so we're going to swap to variety. Uh, if you don't know, I don't stream variety on YouTube, uh, but on Twitch we will keep it going. Uh, I'm going to be playing the uh, DLC of Horizon Zero Dawn, the first one. So... Uh, we're literally just starting it. I think we just got to the snow area and like talked to like a couple people. Um, so we're gonna start that over there. Uh, but YouTube side, appreciate you. Thanks for being here. We'll be going again tomorrow with more juice because uh, new season starts tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, okay. See you guys later. Thanks for being here as always, YouTube, and I'll see you tomorrow. Time Bye. flies.